Bradley Wiggins from team leader to lead out partner. After he received a great help from Froome yesterday in the mountain, the Mayojon makes a collective effort that brings Mark Cavendish to victory. The Cav accelerates to outsprint his rivals and win the stage. The end is near. This stage is a transition before the traditional individual time trial of Saturday and the final arrival on the Champs Elysees on Sunday. On the menu of the day, 222 kilometers between Blagnac in the Toulouse suburb and Brive in Corrèze, the new French president's homeland. The route is rather flat after the Alps and the Pyrenees. With one category three climb and three category four ascents, an intermediate sprint is situated in Cahors at kilometer 147. The riders don't trundle. Soon a break of five riders leaves and with pursuers chasing and catching them, it gets to 14 men in the front. The pace is very high, both in the breakaway and in the pack. Measured speed, an average 44.7 km per hour in the first three hours. For the first time since the tour started, a sky rider is in the break at Waldboisen Hagen. His companions are Yaroslav Popovic, Radio Shack, Yukia Arashira of Europe Car, David Miller Garmin, Julian Fouchard of Cofidis, Adam Hansen and Yele Valendert of Lotto Bellisol, Chris Buckman, Svacon Soleil, Luca Paolini, Katusha, Jeremy Roy of FDJ, Alberto Costa, Moistar, Carsten Kroon and Nick Noyens of Saxa Bank, Alex Vinokur of Astana, Michael Albassini of Rika Greenedge, and Patrick Gersh of Argos Shimano. At the intermediate sprint, the Prim goes to Berkmans, who crosses the line ahead of Roy, Gretsch and Boissenhagen. The peloton watches the brakes moves from the distance. Three teams, Escaltel, Escadi, Omega Pharma Quickstep and Sour Soja Sun, wish to remain at close range, as they have no rider in the break and would like to clinch a first stage win in this tour. As a consequence, the breakaway riders can't put more than 2 minutes 30 between them and the bunch. François Hollande follows the pace in Prudhomme's official car. It is a tradition to invite the French president to watch a stage. 20 kilometers from the finish line, the leading group divides itself as Roy and Hansen take off, followed by Vinokurov, Paolini and Noyens. The peloton are closing the gap to 25 seconds. Hansen, Vinokurov and Paolini launch a last attack, but the peloton wants a sprint. Bradley Wiggins himself goes to the front to prepare a stage win for Mark Cavendish, who doesn't miss the chance. The Briton sprints to his second stage success in this 2012 Tour de France. Wiggins is still in yellow before tomorrow's time trial.